I'm Olivia Radcliffe and this is an Eating Crash Course. Today, worldwide radiation expert Dr. Gustavo Barca is going to walk us through the four ways we can look at using eating technology to sterilize sensitive products like tissues and pharmaceuticals. Let's see what he has to say. With its incredibly fast dose rate, electron beam processing it's a very relevant method for the sterilization of products. When we talk about sensitive products, especially pharmaceuticals, uh, biologics, tissue-derived products, most of the conventional methods for sterilization do not allow us to control the degradation that takes place after, the pro after processing. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the adjustments and modifications that can be done to control the degradation processes uh, as a function of, of e-bean processing. The first option we have is to freeze the product or carry out the process under frozen conditions uh, in a way that we, not, we do not only modify the reaction rate uh, between the reactive species formed during processing with the product, but we also control their formation in a sense that we can reach high sterility levels in a, but we do not promote degradation. A second approach we have is the use of the so-called scavengers, for example antioxidants. What they do in the benefit in terms of controlling the degradation is that they block the reactive species without impairing their sterilization process. Processing at solid state is another approach. For example, lyophilized form uh, of products or low water content products uh, also allow us to decrease all the indirect effects of radiation. And finally, in some cases where degradation is unavoidable, a good alternative we have is to estimate the degradation at a certain dose, so we add a little bit more quantity of the product, so that sterilization is preserved after processing and the desired amount is still present. As always, if you have questions, just give us a call and be sure to check out our other crash courses. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.